Hey everybody, what's going on? Shabby Do here, and today we're gonna get back into that shabby experience as Planet Crafter. So, <laughs> due to very popular demand, uh, incredibly popular, honestly, I had a lot of comments about it and a lot of PMs even on Discord about wanting to see more of this game and not just the prologue, but get into the beta version and just see everything that it has to offer before the game fully releases. So, that's what we're gonna do here. We're jumping right back in. And ooh, a little thing here. What's this? A blueprint microchip? Oh, that's one of the new one of the new things in the game. So we're just gonna go around. We're gonna re-explore some areas, and we're just gonna build a bunch of stuff as we go. So we're gonna have like a bunch of little uh, FOBs or little forward operating bases all around the all around here. What's in here? Um, get rid of the space food. Take that. Get rid of the iron. Take that. Get rid of the iron. Take that. Okay. And we're just going to build all the new stuff and check out all the new things that we can do in here and really get a good look at the game outside of prologue and into the beta. Let's put all this away, right? Organize it. And let's take a look here and see what we can start crafting for some newer stuff, obviously. So first of all, we can get up to like the tier three heaters. I, I think we built one of those. Actually, we did. That was new. But um, we do have the nuclear reactor now. We've got the advanced craft stations not new. The communication stations already existed. Uh, the miners are here. So it looks like I haven't actually unlocked much of anything new yet. So we got the tier two solar panels as well. So let's build the advanced crafting station here. And then we'll continue with our exploration inside here so I can get a bunch of super alloys as well. So we'll just kind of grow this base out a little bit. Okay, let's throw down this advanced crafting station here. I've expanded the base a bit. And let's take a look in here and see everything that we can do again and kind of give us a reminder here. So we can obviously get the rocket engine, which is a newer thing for blast off. I don't know if it's implemented or not. Uh, do we have tier four, tier three bag, tier four oxygen? So I can get the tier four bag, uh, three super alloys and a titanium. So I'm heading into this little area here because over here will be some uh, good old super alloys just all laying around on the ground above. Remember when we were walking around on the upper parts here? What was that? Oh, that titanium looked weird for a second. When we are walking around the upper parts in here, we saw tons of super alloy just laying around ripe for the picking. And I'm pretty sure I've got a bunch of it back at the base, but obviously we're here. Might as well just go harvest some anyways. And I'm grabbing some aluminum as I go just because I know I'm going to need a bunch of it anyways. So why not just start grabbing it as we go and just get all these good rare materials in one little swing. And here's the first one. Checking the wreckage to see what I left behind. I've got some super alloys and some uranium in here. A little bit of uranium over here. I'll grab that as well because why not? I need three, so and I've got three now, so I'll take that back with us for the moment. Do a little depot. We, we're obviously low on oxygen, and we'll take this. Oh, I can't get out the window here. Can I? Nope. These windows. God, I feel like a bird. Just gonna. Oh uh oh. Uh oh. Fall damage? Nope. No fall damage. I couldn't remember if there was fall damage. And let's go make the backpack so I can have a bigger storage and then figure out how to make a nuclear reactor because I think that's going to be my play right now. I want to make a nuclear reactor. Oh, just got a little notification down there. New blueprint. We got the launch platform unlocked. It looks like maybe we can get the heck off this thing. All right, back at the base. Let's get the tier four backpack. God, I just love how that looks and how this materializes. It's so fun. All right, let's throw that on. Bam, big, beautiful inventory. Let me grab out these again because next this is what i want to build i just noticed this thing in here uh, we got a seed spreader so let's go grab some cobalt make some or some ice make some water bottles i need a magnesium um i've got that right here though right magnesium guess not i'll grab magnesium and a bunch of ice we'll do this all right we got everything i don't know it says it'll grow in a small area outside so let's do like right here this is like kind of open-ish right so let's go seed spreader. Oh, it actually shows us the area. That's cool. All right, hold on. Let me do this. I want it to be like here. Am I out of power? Everything stopped. I'm out of power. We need to build some power and I need a seed. Hold on. Let's see. Let's see the seed. I've got something in here, right? Seed Lerma. Maybe I need that. I'll bring both just to see I'll, I'll throw a shanga in here too let's see if i can do either one of these because the lerma doesn't say anything anymore all right cool 
So let's do that. Let's build a tier two solar panel. So I need magnesium, cobalt, and a silly. Drop this bad boy down here. There we go. And we'll see how this thing just starts to germinate. That's thick. All right, cool. We're going to start to make this world green now. And I did get a thing saying I had a message earlier. That's a lot of silicone and magnesium. I won't worry about that at the moment. Um, so I need a uranium rod, huh? I'm going to go out. We're going to do a little farming. I'm going to go get a bunch more super alloy. I'm going to grab some whatever uranium is sitting around over at the uh, back here at this place here. And then I'm going to go back and we're going to go explore that thing. Because I remember there being uranium rods in there before, or at least one rod. Hope that was the place, at least. I think it was. Ooh, we just unlocked a biodome. I was just making water. Um, oh, we can build this. Titanium, cobalt, and super alloy. Do I have extra super? I don't think I do, right? No. All right, so I still need to go out and get all that super, which is fine. That's going to be the plan here. And then we'll come back. Anything new in here? Oh, yeah, the exoskeleton suit too, huh? And that was it for in here. And I got a lot of ice. There we go. And so I'm going to go do that. And that way we can go check out what Iodome will do for us. Hey, I stopped back at the old house to kind of just go through my own coffers here and see what was going on. I just saw we had a message from Riley here. Hello, I finally managed to locate the system they send you in. I don't have much time, but I'll try to give you some advice. The success rate of Planet Crafters is so low because it's nearly an impossible task. You should find space food in your pod and maybe in Space Rex. You'll be able to grow food by yourself when you meet the correct requirements. So try and find some vegetable seeds. Exploration and improvement are essential. Explore and improve your equipment to increase your chances. And I hope this message reaches you. So apparently we got a friend named Riley. Uh, we got a friend in you. All right, cool. So with that, though, we got to see... I figured we check the blueprints out as well while I'm in here instead of just building a new thing. So the next unlock we have at Terraformation is doubling it down almost here. Collects water from humid ambient air, which is pretty cool. Lake water collector and then a water filter. Um, we've got nothing left in the oxygen tab. The seed spread is the last thing. Um, in heating at 200, we'll get an algae generator and grows underwater algae, generates biomass, place on water surface and a biodome too. And then down here in pressure, we do got to generate a little bit more of this. It's a pretty weak right now, but an ore extractor automatically extracts ore from the ground. That sounds pretty cool. And a nuclear reactor T2. So that's my power. We're 21% uh, of the way from getting rain. That's pretty cool. We, th so this is just the original base here. So I wanted to come in. I wanted to grab a bunch of iron, essentially, just because that's what we're, I'm kind of missing is iron. Everything else is pretty abundant in my area over there, but iron's the only thing that's a little bit low. So and we've got all the heaters here. Obviously, don't forget, we've got our miners and stuff out here. And actually, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go run. Excuse you. Are we having a meteor shower over there? Uh, I'm going to run back in there just to see if in the beta... Uh, that area has changed at all. So let me do that and just bring that with me. Beautiful. So let's go see if there's anything new in this uh, little, I don't know what to call it, wreck up here. All right, two things. We got a new message again. So it looks like I'm definitely going to want to build that in my little area. And two, um, I don't recall this being here last time. Do you? I don't remember there being a cave right here. What is this? Oh, it's all, it's still, it's still icy. Maybe I got to heat the world up some more. I know one of the beta patches said some of the ice blocks were unlocked or at least melted so you could get by them. Um, I don't, I honestly don't remember seeing that in the beta. So either I missed that or that's new entirely. And so I do know we're going to go, I'll actually, while we're this way too, we'll take a trip down this path here and go see if that ice cave that was over there that we found originally is open now. And if not, whatever, we'll get some resources over there. We'll do a little building or something. All right, so this is still icy. So I'm either thinking that not, these areas haven't been quite unlocked yet or or it's not hot enough. So I'm going to do another swing around. We're going to take the long way back to the base here. Um, actually, no, I'm not because I need to go home. I need to get the super alloy from the other house. And we got some materials from this house as well we can take with us. We come in here and we've got some great resources at this place you know we've got our uh big golden penis here we've got a bunch of iridium i'll even just snag that iridium right there there's our tier, tier three heater we have on display 
we built that last time together. And in here, I don't need any of this, huh? Take that with me. The other stuff I don't really care about. Okay. I'm going to go back to the original house, and then we're going to go back to the house we're kind of set up at right now. And that's going to be my new main hub because this back area is essentially fully explored, so there's nothing new out here. So I don't have to worry about coming back here again. That's locked up until at least the world is warmer or until a new patch comes in. We got that new message from Riley here. I managed to sneak more information. So I read that you have more chances of success if you build your base in altitude. I'm not sure why for now. And if you manage to heat the planet enough, some cave should become accessible when the ice melts. Just happened. Back. Uh, when the ice melts. And one last thing. You can. Boop. So maybe we need to make a base up high. Maybe up. Maybe we build something up there. I don't know what. Maybe that's for the communication, perhaps. I'm not sure what that's about. That's a bit uh, of a different stretch. So, but this is what I'm going to go back with the house and we'll store that in there. Um, I, you know what? I'm going to leave the iridium here. I am going to take the iron instead. It seems like a weird choice, I know, but we got the cave next to us that is tr literally chock full of iridium and whatnot. So if I need it, we can go get more over there. But in the area that exists around me, there I've at least mined all the iron that was in my vicinity. So more will spawn eventually, but... At least for the time being, I just need more so we can have some more easily crafted stuff be done here. Because we got all sorts of things to do. We're, we, we got things to do here, people. By the way, check it out. It's green, baby. It's green. I wonder if I can, like, change it out, right? I can change it out. So at some point, if I want to put a different flower there, I could. All right, let's store everything. And I'll take out... Uh, not that. Ooh, I need more storage, but I've got three iron here. So you ready? Bing it, bang. This is why I brought the iron. Um, I've got that here. So let's plop you down. Good stuff. So I'm going to put the iron here and let's start organizing. Couple things to do. One, we got to get the heat up on this planet. I want to see what's behind all those icy things. So I went, we mined the iridium like you saw. We made two iridium rods. And also, I realized when we were looking at the description here of this chip, use this in the blueprint screen to unlock a new blueprint. So uh, I'm assuming it meant this, right? Ooh, blue trip. Uh, decode a blueprint microchip. That's kind of lame. Um, hmm. Well, all right. I guess we got this so we can mine a little faster doesn't really make a difference to me so um that's okay we're gonna make an ore extractor and we're gonna make some heaters here so first let's get some silicone titanium aluminum and rods i'm gonna need to get more power but it's fine i just want to put them down first anyways i don't really care if it's not efficient so we've got two of these bam look at them they're beautiful absolutely beautiful so let's get a, I don't have enough for a uranium or a nuclear reactor yet because I don't have enough uranium for a rod. So I'm just going to build a couple more of these right here. So let's go grab iron, magnesium, silly, cobalt, and a little bit of aluminum. One. Two. And finally three. All right, that'll give us some extra power. That'll get us by. Let, let's go. Um, I'm going to make a trip over to that thing over there. And we're going to fully loot that because I'm pretty sure we had some aluminum in, or not aluminum, but we had uh, what's call it uranium rods in there. So I definitely want to go and bring those back with me. Let me just eat some space food. There we go. There we go. We also had a message here. Um, is it worth it for a message thing? Eh, silly magnesium. Do I have all that laying around? Nah, we'll get it later. We'll see what that message is later. First, I want to go, I, like I said, I want nuclear power. Let's get it. We're in the spaceship. We found an iridium rod. A bunch of seeds on the shelves. We got some more uh, iridium and some uranium. And there's another chest right here with some more uranium, a mushroom seed, and a super alloy. I'll take a little bit of ir uh, iridium here. And hmm, looking pretty decent so far. We got ourselves another iridium rod. I'm going to put the 
I'm gonna put the iridium away, grab that uranium, put that iridium away, grab that super alloy. This is a chest full of iron, clearly I've been here. Drink your oxygen. And in this chest, we've got microchip mining speed T3. Guess we don't need to make that T1 now. So here's the hall. I guess there wasn't a nuclear rod, but we got all this food. So I'm just going to leave this here anyways. I dumped this. I'm going to bring back my little bit of uranium. We did find the uh, extra iridium, aluminum, and then the super alloy. Over here, we got some more flowers and stuff. Actually, I'm going to take that one with me and that one with me. And then in here, I built three more heaters. So we've got plenty of heat pumping right now. So you can see our TI index is rising. And I put uh, three more power plants down. Well, not power plants, solar powers there. So now um, I'm going to head back home over here. I'm going to double check the dump site that's in here. I'm also going to grab super alloy just while we're in there. But with this, I'll have enough uranium to build our power plant. So we're gonna also throw that down. That'll be the equivalent of a little bit more than four solar power. So it's nothing crazy, but it's still pretty cool. So we'll put that down, see how that looks, and then check that over there because that's really the last um, like exploration zone that I've been to previously that I would have found a uranium rod in that I didn't take for some reason. So we'll see if that's over there. If not, maybe it's just gone. Maybe it's just gone. Beautiful. Uranium rod. Check. I'll dump the little bits of your... Oh, I don't have room in there. We're nice and full. So let's see. What do I need for this thing? I need two water bottles and three super alloys. So one, two, three. That means I'll put three of those away, at least for now. Uh, sort it. Oh, take these out real quick, too, just to make some space here. Throw that in there. There we go. And now we can put all that in. Uh, two, three, that, that, that. And I already forgot. So two water bottles. Do I have ice laying around? I don't know, but I got two water bottles. So this generates all hours for machines on the planet. Looks like it doesn't go out inside though. This is interesting. It's a you know it's nuclear power. So can I build it like in here ish? Not really. I'll put it next to it though. Look at that. It doesn't look much different. It's just kind of like a reskin tier three heater. But you know what? It's still nice. It's still nice. Look at that power. Oof. One MTI now. We are looking so good. Let's see. What else can we build here? So we have the atmospheric water collector that we could put down. Automatically collects water from human ambient air. I'm um, not really too concerned about that. Also, don't know. We don't have um, a lake anywhere yet. I saw it raining earlier, but it hasn't rained since. Um, we don't, I don't know how to get Osmium yet. It's got to be behind one of the things that we haven't unlocked yet. Like one of those zones over there. Let me see. Let me build, let me build a progress screen. Do I have silicone just lying around? No, I don't really have anything in this base, huh? No, nothing great, at least in this base. Let's see. What else can we build here? Food grower. We already know about that. I can start building a bunch of seed spreaders. Uh, greatly speeds up the terraformation process by sending rockets into space. I don't know how that works, but sure. Maybe we'll build that in a little bit, too. All right, I'm going to go back to it. Whoops. going to leave this aluminum behind. Going to drink some water, eat some food. All right, I'm going inside here and seeing if we can find that uranium rod. But guys, if you're loving Planet Crafter and you do want to keep seeing more, and for me to heat up this planet so that we can uh, get into that secret zone that's behind the ice. You hit that like button down below. Leave me a comment as well. Let me know what you're thinking so far about the game. And do hit that subscribe button if you are new here so you can get back here for that sweet, shabby content. All right. There was nothing fun in there except I did find two blueprint chips. Uh, one was in a chest on the way there and the other was actually in the thing. There was a new chest in there, I guess. So let's see what we get here. Decode. I got mining speed one again. And I got... Compass. All right. Compass is cute, I guess, but I mean, I'm never really lost in this world. It's not like that confusing of a place. You know what I mean? So let's grab another storage locker here and sneak that right next to this one. Uh, this is where all of my aluminum is going to go. Hey, hey, check it out. There's no more ice. It's melted. What is this? <gasps> Osmium. We need this. What is this? Sulfur? Oh, boy. We got all sorts of things in here. Bunch of iridium in here too, so we got some osmium. I 
This looks cool. Yeah, we need this because we're going to build the, what's going to call it? The ore extract with osmium. Oh, baby. Oh, hiding back here too. Hello. I don't know what to do with sulfur yet. Maybe we need sulfur to power the Oz or the uh, ore extractor. Maybe we need to make something with sulfur to do it. I don't know. There's a chest back here too. Hello. Uh, bioplastic. Oh, mush bunch of mushroom seeds. We'll take all this just because it's we're pretty empty as it is. And it looks like that's really it in here. That was a little underwhelming, but we got the resource we need. So if you do want to see what the ore extractor does and how we build it, hit that like button down below. Leave me a comment letting me know what you're thinking and do hit that subscribe button as well so you can get back here and be notified when that episode does release. So I'm going to head back to the base. We're going to I'm over here now, by the way, obviously, if you didn't recognize where we were and get everything set up, and we're going to build an ore extractor, but we're going to do it next time. So as usual, guys, this has been Shabby Do and hope the rest of your day is not too shabby.